Good evening. How are we all doing today? It is Saturday. It's been a strange day. But hopefully we can get some good things done. So, just sort out my wires and get back to things. Oh, it's doing that again. Okay. Let me just go fix that real quick. Mm. I thought I just had like a no. Ah, hello there. I'm glad that it's been a, been a productive day. Mine's not been quite as productive, but it's been alright. Hopefully we get the productivity in now and then it'll make up for it. Oh, I guess it might be because this is on. It seems to be better. Okay. Yeah. So, I wasn't really meant to be doing a lot this weekend because I wasn't planning to be around. And then I got pinged as like a potential COVID contact, so I couldn't go anywhere in the end. Uh, so that's why today has been a bit strange. I feel fine. I've taken a test now, um, so I'll get the result of that in about a day, we'll see. Um, just has been a bit odd, so hopefully things are fine. So what I wanted to do is, no, they're not fun things to do, those tests, um, but it, I believe in doing the right thing, uh, so I don't mind. It's worth it. It's just frustrating that I found out literally the day before I had to travel, so there was only so much I could do. Um, It's fine. Anyway, so this plugin documentation is one document, and that's starting to get a little unruly. So I was thinking about splitting it into individual files, similar to how we've done the module files. Um, so for each API service, we'll have a separate file. Um, and I wanted to do that before we uh, released things. Um, so I guess we'd start with... I don't know if I'll keep the method index. I might just do that, and then this would just be cool, I think. Uh, I would need to go up to modules and then to like graphics or something. And then, oh. Yeah, it does seem to be relative, so... 
Uh, I don't think I can, because that's up to GitHub to provide, because um, that's where the site is hosted. And they don't give you an option to build the site in multiple places, as far as I can tell. Because that would be really helpful. Um, I, I agree with you that that is something I would like. Um, but... Uh, oh, is that a... Th can you do that? Hold on, I have to do this from my desktop. So look, so... Um, Oh, I see what you mean. Um, that would be really hard because the... That would mean that I'd have to basically make and merge... Hang on, as, as in like, wouldn't I have to make that... Like the files and then put them in the site? Or can GitHub just do that for you? Because otherwise I'd have to be like shuffling files onto master and that'd be very strange. And it would break any uh, relative links and things. Oh no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't break any relative links, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd rather not do it if it's manual. <laughs> but it's something that I feel like you should be able to do. I don't want to go digging into the settings of the repo too much. But... Uh, very carefully, you need to not expose secrets. Uh... Yeah, because you see, you have to specify the source. I mean, sure, but it's... Uh, I just wish that they had this option to do it for you, you know? Um, although, there is something to be said for having older versions of the documentation available, I guess? Although, that's not actually true, because for Dome, we should never be breaking things, so the previous documentation should always apply. At least up to version 2. So... Yeah. It's something to think about. Um, if I can find a solution I like, we might go with that. Because it, it would be helpful, I think. The, the thing is, I don't, I don't have anything to build the pages. It's all done through GitHub. So, yeah. I don't like the idea of a branch of a branch for docs only. That feels really strange. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but the whole point is that it's meant to be like the code is meant to be in branches, you're not meant to be doing stuff, but yeah. I suppose it is. I don't think about this stuff too much. <laughs> uh, fair enough. This bit can go in here, that can go in here, these can now come back. So. Why has my terminal crashed? Yeah. 
I mean, well, you say that. To me, it is current. Um, because there are no guarantees on anything until it ends up on the main branch. So develop isn't reliable until it merges and we release something. So as far as I'm concerned, whatever's on the website is the, the official state of Dome at any given time. Ugh, what the hell? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we can look into it. We can look into it. I'm not opposed to the idea, I just need to figure out the process that we'll use to make it happen so that it doesn't just drive me crazy. Although I suppose we could set up like a GitHub action to run the script and whatever, so it might not be that bad. Right. I don't have a a doc build script because GitHub does it for me. So I'd need to figure that bit out. I don't I don't know how to get that output from it. But... <sighs> okay, this is a new page. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to revamp the whole website at some point as well, because I this works, but it, it could be nicer, I think, in some ways. So maybe at that point I'd consider it, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is Jekyll. I mean, that's why I've, I've got an instance of Jekyll running locally, so I guess I can just do it with that. And then it'll be fine, I guess. It's just they're doing it for us. Yeah, for us, even. Um... Although, I had a hell of a time actually setting up Jekyll locally, so I don't really like it. Okay, that, that worked, though, as far as splitting up this file, so... Next to be RenMD. Yeah, I'm I'm tempted to just change the whole static generator bit. So there's all sorts of different ones. Yeah, it's true. And I think that neither of us particularly like having dependencies. So I'm, I'm sure that if, yes, exactly. I think we both are like that, which is good. There's only one actual, well, I suppose it's two. I'll have a look at Zola in a moment. Um, yeah, these are simple markdown for the moment. I don't think I want to do more than that, but you never know. Uh, 
that doesn't need to be there anymore. I guess this all comes up a level, which I didn't do in the previous document, so I'd have to check that. Um, it's like a Zoa. You know, one stop static site engine. Forget to do everything in one library. I mean, that's that is good already. Um, oh, it comes with SAS. That's nice. I do like SAS. Common lock. Is that different from the kind of stuff that GitHub uses? I forget. Because that might break a few things. Okay. As long as it's not too different, I suppose it's fine. Right. Oh. There's a interesting behavior there, but it's fine. Oh, that's nice. That would make everything a little smoother, wouldn't it? Um, I suppose that you, what you'd want to do is be like, if I'm in a commit with a tag, use the tag, otherwise just drop it in latest or something, so that you have a guarantee as to what's at the front. I really wish I could display this stuff better without listing through all, all of this myself. But it, it'll do. Because the alternative is that we go and actually write the REN documentation for this and make it available somewhere. But it's fine.
Ah, ok. interesting although I don't have clang everywhere but yeah I suppose for development purposes it's not that much of an issue but hmm. Fair enough. I use different compilers for every platform at the moment, so yeah, because I use the, well, strictly speaking, I use GCC for Windows and for Linux, and then Clang is my Mac target, so. a bit extra here that I didn't want. I use it for all my targets, um, but you don't use the target compiler, it works on the host OS for all major OSs. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm in a bit of a weird brain space. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's true. So long as the uh Yeah, so long as the right thing can access it, then it's fine. But it's just more that um well, I suppose my complaint is that I have to list it at all, and I can't just say, go to the REN documentation. At the moment, I do link to the, the header file, but it's just a silly thing to have to show people. It's like, here is basically the contents of the header for REN, here's what you can use. but I'm not going to tell you how to use any of it. So it was just a weird thing that I sort of hacked together. So it doesn't display very well. It's also going to be harder now um, because we don't expose the entire REN API. So, there's that. I think that'll work, so okay. 
We're only showing a subset. Although maybe I don't need to show a subset, maybe it'd be better not to. Seems okay. Uh, Bitmap.md. That was weird, I don't know why those ones had extra depth on them, but it's fine. Can I rest an MD? Probably better that we start to own our own documentation toolchain, I suppose. Relying on. Oh, that is meant to be four. Okay. Yeah, relying on um, GitHub to provide it is a bit awkward. Oh, it's because methods is wrong. Okay. So these should be three. That makes sense, yeah. Um, it's, yeah, those are threes. And finally is io.md.
Oh dear. Yeah, that that's... I mean, it, deadlines can be a good thing, but if you weren't expecting to have a deadline... Ooh. That's still pretty exciting, though. It'll... Yeah, <laughs> it, it was intentional. It'll put eyes on, on, on the game as well, which is cool. Yeah, definitely good for visibility. And that's that. And then I need the IO one back. Actually, probably should capitalize these. I think I capitalized them before. Yeah. to remove what's left in here. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? with the refund policy on Steam. Because people might play it and think this is too short. Appreciate that, that's fair. And you shouldn't have to. It just it's something I was wondering about. That's fine then. If it's got a bit of replayability, that's good. I guess if you really wanted to, you could also extend it over time, but you might not want to, so that's fine.
suppose I should look at what I actually described these as. We're just uh would be that one. A subset of the ren. API for foreign foreign classes audio engine to provide your own audio well hopefully it does get some traction load images I suppose so, yeah. It's just the first entry. That's a good idea as well. Oh, I need to think. Uh, hello there, Honjo. How are you this evening? Feel free to ask questions about whatever I'm working on at the time. I'm happy to answer. If you enjoy what you see, remember to follow for future updates. I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, it's it's been a bit of a strange day because um, I had to cancel, cancel a bunch of plans. So I wasn't planning to stream today, but I can't actually go anywhere now, so I, this is what I'm doing. Ah, uh, thank you for the follow! <laughs> yeah, um... I know that they covered Ren, but I don't think they found Dome at the time, which was a bit sad. But it's still a nice bit of recognition for the language. Access files from disk. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad. I don't remember. I may have dropped into the Discord very briefly at the time, but I cannot remember. Uh, 
If not, then it's nice that other people pointed it out. Um, this is a stupid description. I want something a bit better. But have I written a better? Oh, um, if you could, uh, which, which one's broken? I can go fix that. Oh, that's a bit strange that that one's broken. I, I will. Oh, what? I guess you need to. Oh, I forgot the little colon. Okay. That's what I get for doing things in a hurry. Really? It... <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's that's a thing that Yep. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. These, oh, really I want the links to be in the table, but it'll ruin all of my formatting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. I don't know what what footnote style would be because I just want it to be like that. But that's true. And I am glad that you do what you do. I was hoping to do like a multi-line edit type thing, but I guess not. So I want to put that there, and that there, and that there, and then this is IO, this is just canvas, and then this one is bitmap. And then we can go fix the formatting. How's that look? So yeah, um, what I'm doing at the moment, I am working on breaking up the documentation for native plugins in Dome uh, because I've been adding a few additional pieces to this API. Um, it was one document and it was just horrendously long. Oh, I guess tables don't work at all. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so I've been splitting out into separate files and just making it a bit more digestible than one ridiculously long document. The So this is the development version of the page. The version that is live looks like this at the moment. And you can just see from the table of contents that it's got more in it than it really should. 
Um, so I've basically just been splitting it into the separate files for each module service. Yeah, okay. But for, I guess, Jekyll's doesn't, uh, well, Jekyll doesn't seem to handle tables, so I don't know if that's because this is missing. But it doesn't seem to do it. At least on my local machine, it doesn't seem to do it. I don't know if it'll do it. Because um, this is what it's doing instead. Ah, it was just those two little bits missing. Cool. Uh, it just needs a little introduction. Below is a table of services and their purpose. Nice. I will probably fix the styling for that when I get a chance. But then it brings you down here and then you can see all of the same things. Um, it's very important to me um, that Dome is properly documented so that people can use it. So I put probably more work into this than I should, <laughs> but it works. So, right, that is a job done. We've got separate files for everything. Uh, I just need to check that they all look okay. Yeah, so this is what I was complaining about earlier. I don't really like that I've done this as a way to provide the list of methods that Ren has, but I don't. I didn't want to go through at the time and actually write up a full documentation or borrow it from the thing. Um, uh, good docs always help. I can't say I could easily jump to learning Ren for some reason. It's odd because I get to grasp Zig easier. Yeah, Ren needs more learning resources. There is some thing that got put together recently which might help with that and there have been people doing uh, advent of code with it so that's probably a good way to learn as well. Exorcism, that's it. Um, so there's a track on exorcism that's supposed to have things. So that might be a good starting point. The other thing that you can do is just pick up a implementation that works so you could pick up dome and then make something just make something and just start working from that um it's probably one of the easier ways to learn to do things advent of code is not terrible though um yeah just because it's focused tasks right so yeah there's been a, a few people on the discord for ren that have been doing it I think I'm happy with that. Oh, what the hell's happening there? Ugh, I have to fix that. They are. There's um. There's a couple of things in the docs that do need to be still be patched up when I get a chance to provide a PR for it. I think, but little things. For the most part, it's pretty good. Oh, cool. That's read file. Yep. Yeah. Um, is there a Rosetta code thing for it as well? That might be a pretty good thing to do.
or um, what is it? Uh, Learn X in Y minutes is another good one. If if we can get some resources up on there, that might be good. So there are options. Uh, okay, that table works as well. And that table works. So I think that's all looking pretty good. I think that people overlook the wiki. Um, we don't make a big deal about it too much. Okay, so that was that stuff. Right, so yeah, what I'm doing at the moment is just I am sort of doing the post PR or PR related tasks around this thing. <laughs> um, this is a pretty hefty pull request because there's some example code things that I was working on in here a lot, which probably should have been a separate branch, but we won't get into that. Um, so it's just making sure that everything is correct and a decent standard. Thinking about it, I may or may not merge everything today. Just to let it all sit and simmer. Oh, that's actually a typo. Huh. This is... <laughs> that, that was unexpected. The audio API, not the run API. No. actually sit and read this properly as well. Well, actually, no, I don't need to read it because I've not changed anything in here. It's just make sure that the thing transferred across. This one is new though, so I should look at this one. That's in the wrong place. I did think that was in the wrong place. A bit map. There. Yeah, so we officially changed this uh, from from buffer to from file in memory because it's like an extra different version of this one.
I'm like... I'm fairly sure this bit is correct. I just couldn't remember the endianness of it. But I'm pretty sure that's the right way around. Yeah, so we, we ripped out a chunk of stuff. <laughs> hey Ben, how you doing? So so, I feel pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm I'm okay. I'm doing all right. Um, yeah, the it, it can be a thing, but this week's actually been pretty good for me overall, from a productivity standpoint. I was pretty close to doing some good stuff, so. I'm pretty content. Uh, this weekend didn't go to plan, but I'm making the most of it. Okay. Uh, I probably need to standardize and actually put an acquisition link everywhere, or not put one not everywhere. Uh... Uh, that one's not like canvas. Which one had it then? Oh, it's just the Ren one. Yeah, not too bad. Um, just It'd be nice if I could get a uh, dome sort of packaged up and done. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to do a couple extra things before releasing this version, but there's actually a lot of stuff in this, and it would be kind of better just to push it out the door, I think. Nothing else is actually that essential. I just thought I would do one extra bit beforehand, but it can wait. Because I was, I'm, I'm running behind, strictly speaking. I wanted this version to be done before 70 FPS started, but here we are. Dome uses semantic versioning. I'm happy with the way that we do actual versions. It's just um, that thing of, do I release now? Do I wait a bit? Do I want to, whatever. There was something else I thought I was thinking about putting in, I saw. Canvas, core, IO and red, one, two, Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, that's it, okay. Let's 
to that was putting that everywhere. Um, I think that canvas will have a broken contents. Because I need to take these off. And then there's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't actually count as real code, it's all example code. So I'm not concerned about it. Uh, draw a triangle with vertices x0, y0, y1, x2, y2, yep. That's fine for both. Yeah, we checked, we did check that already, but it's good to double check. That's audio stuff. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Kind of nice to do that programming thing. What? Oh yeah, yeah. And Dome UI was, Dome UI was cool. Although, um, uh, Trelamar has been doing some interesting UI things as well. So you have a bit of competition. Yep. That's the most important thing, as long as you've been having fun. It's never too early for a repo. Never. Brr. Right, this is example code. I don't care about example code. Now this is the triangle example. That's good. Um, you have to handle it manually, but you can check for it fairly easily. Um, it wouldn't be difficult to have a built-in to handle that for you, though. But the, the, the things are there to do it. So, yeah, that actually, actually, uh, submit an issue PR, uh, a GitHub issue for that, please. 
and I will put it in at some point. Or we can actually make that a um, a first time user or first time contributor issue because that would actually be quite nice and very simple. Oh, I got these wrong, I think. Or did I not? No, 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 that's fine. Um, it's not even comparing maps. Um, you'd handle it in the digital input class, which abstracts some of that stuff away for you. So in the same way that we compute just pressed as a property, we can do the same thing as just released. Because it's polling, we don't do events. I'm not sure if this comment is accurate, actually. Really? Knowing when something is pressed seems more important to me. I've never needed a just released button, or just released before. Oh, that's a to-do. Oh, that's true. I suppose for actual UI, you're right. I hadn't really considered that too much. As I said, though, like the um, the information is available to you to compute that. It's just we don't have a nice shortcut for it. What does this do on error? That's a good question. I agree. I mean, it, it's something that could easily be a built-in. Um, but the issue is small enough that I would like it as a first-time uh, first contributor thing, I think. Yes, um, I like to keep an issue or two in the repository that are what I consider to be very simple or very educational, so that if someone comes to Dome and wants to get stuck in with 
actually modifying it. These are nice entry-level things they can do that are useful. I started doing this, I think, just before... Was it Hacktober last year? Or just after, maybe. But I think it's good to have that available. Because they're simple things, I could easily do it, but I would like them to be solved by people who haven't contributed to the project before. If possible. Because they're nice entry-level things. That's my belief anyway. It, it's encouraging people to engage with open source projects. Is the hope. I don't actually know what this library is meant to do when it hits an error. That's really annoying. <laughs> When it, when it works, it's nice. I think that um, one of those issues has been open for a little while now. But I know that we did have one or two people start from those sorts of issues, so. Yeah. Why is that a blue Pikachu? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it does if there's a, like, if the image is corrupt or, um, like, if, if you try and feed it something that isn't PNG data or a valid image data file, I don't know what it actually does. I assume it returns null, but I, it doesn't say anywhere. Result is now. Ah, thank you. I just couldn't find that particular bit. I assume there's no way to know what caused the error. Well, C doesn't have an error handling system as such. It will either return you junk or abort. So you have to explicitly do something to handle errors. Okay, that's fine then. I can work with that. Yeah, because uh, I've got this method here for loading stuff for bitmaps and I didn't actually handle errors yet. I think I actually have done this in other bits of the project, so I should really have just looked there, but... This file. Uh, 
Although this leads to a secondary problem, which is just um, what should Dome do about errors for plugins, I suppose. It's all good that we can get the, the reason out for STBI, but plugins won't actually be able to see that. So does that mean that I have to then do something else about it or we can... Yeah, I don't, I don't actually have a error handling system for plugins yet. We just kind of assume that it works. So maybe that's something to think about uh, sooner than later. Yeah. So I guess we would need um, to, yeah, we'd, we'd need to store that error somewhere uh, within the dome data context. And then that'd be fine, I suppose. Oh, per plugin. Yeah, that's true. Do we... I haven't done this stuff for a bit. Oh, good. Whew. We do have per plugin data. I think. We Well, we do, it's just a mess. <laughs> Um, cause it's a struct of arrays, not an array of structs. Yeah. Yeah. So we'd have to do the same thing, but, uh, we don't actually know which plugin we're in when we're in these methods. So that doesn't work. I'd have to um, change what the dome context value was, I think, for that to work. Or, no, no, I would, I would. Which is a minor performance issue, but not a big deal. Hmm. Yeah, I won't, I won't actually, um, I don't think I want to try and handle that right now. Yeah. Um, dome wide would be the easier because then you can just have one thing. But I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you'd have to say is like, if you get, if you use this thing, you are responsible for handling the errors. Otherwise something will be broken. Yeah. We could always um, reset the error code um, after a plugin finishes its hook execution. But that doesn't really work for uh, foreign modules that are being called from the VM. So it's not ideal either. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Yeah, it is an implementation detail. It's just worthy. Well, yes, no, it is. It is definitely implementation detail. Oh. 
I guess it's probably a char star in this case then. Um, I would probably be copying whatever because it's not per plugin. You can't point to the error message because it'll potentially change out from under you. So I wasn't going to do a, a pointer to a pointer. But... Yeah. If, if it was um, one per plugin, then yes, you'd be right. It would be an array of pointers, two strings. But it's just a single er single singleton error, I guess. Uh, I'd actually rather that. of weird things there. Let's just fix all of that again. Down. redoing a bunch of random pipeline stuff because I'm adding better tools to prevent combinatorial mess of materials. <laughs> I'm sure that it is. I'll forgive you then. You're always tackling the hard problems. Um... thing about making games to answer questions though, you find out what works and what gets annoying pretty quick, that's true. That is very true.
don't know why I've done it like that, but I have, so I will go with it. <laughs> get last error thank you that is a good name Good. Yep. Oh, capitalization. <laughs> Thank you for actually paying attention to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how many people would point it out while I was doing things, you know. Um, that should be enough, because eventually we'll end up changing the context pointer to something more useful. I mean, that's partly what, what I stream for, is just to have someone watch and tell me where I've made a mistake. Um, I just need a um, thing that sets it and then freeze it afterwards. That's important too. could and then I mean the alternative is just I was just gonna stradoop it so it'd just be appointed to a character in memory I don't really see an advantage one way or the other apart from speed I guess although um, actually there is a minor one isn't there because if the problem is memory allocation then you've allocated memory to f yeah it would fail uh, okay. But then how long do you make it?
Yeah, like how, 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 I guess you just pick a arbitrary large number and hope that no one exceeds it. I suppose it's all internal code, so you can pick whatever, but. Right. I mean, yeah, no, no one's, no one, no user is gonna... Oh, they would need to know for printing it out, yeah. Well, allocating their own memory, I guess. But... Uh, okay. So then, to start with, this is just zero. I don't see much of a reason to free it, well, to, to clear it at the moment, but you could then clear it if you wanted to. Because um, you'd only check it if you actually had an error sentinel come up. And as I was saying earlier, there's not really a good point at which to clear it, because there's no guarantee that a particular plugin's code will be the thing that's being called between stuff. So it is literally just last error. Uh, I did want to change the order. Just like that. I don't like putting arrays in the middle of structs, especially if it's not that big. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just the uh, regular reminder if I'm doing something and you're not quite sure what I'm up to, please feel free to ask. Yeah, some weekend coding. How are you doing, Packer Power? Chillin's good. I, I'm, I'm fond of the chillin. Uh, I think that's sufficient. Oh, cool. Well, we, we were actually just talking about Advent of Code a little bit earlier on. That has to be in that order rather than the other way around. So I have to do a forward car, uh, a forward declaration. Uh, I hate forward declarations. Uh, get last. No, get last. No, oh, get error reason. Thank you.
Oh, but I am doing it here, so it's fine. Hopefully you managed to be successful with your advent of code stuff. I have to do the cheaty thing here. Pretty easy is pretty good. Pretty easy is pretty good, I'm glad. I've never done Advent of Code, actually. I, I can't be bothered. <laughs> but it's cool to see people doing it. Oh, that's there. That might be causing all the problems. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Source plugin C33. And then this needs to be zero now. Yeah. And then 263. Again, I guess we actually need to return the address to this. <laughs> It's definitely better than mindlessly scrolling through Reddit. Oh, that will cause problems again. Last error. Why can I not remember what this thing is called? Get error reason. I guess it doesn't actually make sense as const because it's pre allocated. But this one we can cast to const char star because we control it. And the compiler shut up. Okay. Uh, We probably want a set as well for internal use. is equal to this strut and copy error 
Uh, I need to check what strun copy does. Strun copy. To the min of length and error reason length because we uh, minus one because then you need to append the Oh, actually, you could set the first character to be zero and cat it instead, and then cat puts the ending on, doesn't it? Is that any better? That might be better just from a clarity point of view. I don't know if that's cheaty. Because you could easily do... Word. Uh, you could do that and then oh, is there a strutton cat? Yeah, so you could do the same thing. Need to make sure that we do it correctly. Yeah, because then you don't accidentally miss off the thing. I guess that's better. Don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. No one can stop me. Oh, but then you actually lose a character at the start. No, it overwrites it, overwrites it, it overwrites it. Yeah, the terminating null character in destination is overwritten by the first character of the source, so that's fine. It's fine, it's all good. And uh, reverse is the plugin to H. So now what we can do is have API bitmap do if bitmap pixels is equal to null, then uh, free bitmap, bitmap is equal to null, and then plugin collection. I probably should rename that actually to be just dome or engine actually, but it's because it's sitting in the plugin stuff. So probably not for now. Plugin collection set error reason. Uh, engine star uh, STBI. What was it? Why well, skip past it? STBI failure reason.
Uh, actually, it'd be and then we can just do reason and length. Error set. Looks good. And then just over here. Almost. That's a stupid thing to have to cast, isn't it? It's like, I know that it's a char with a length, but I don't care about it because of stuff. I don't like having to fix that sort of thing. It's more annoying. Because we basically have to say, this is a char style. Please don't mess with it. I think. Unless I'm horrifically misunderstanding. It's just unhappy that one is char and one is char with a length array declared. So it's like, oh, they're not the same. But we know they're not the same. We just are going to treat them OK. So, we should probably devise a quick test for all of that to make sure that works. Um, ah, welcome back. Um, I guess it'd be bitmap from file um, like that. Uh, Oh, I've misnamed that though. That's a thing to fix. Remind me in a moment. Uh, 
result is equal to dome, well, call get last error CTX. And then call log CTX result. Image not of any known type or corrupt. Looks like it worked. <sighs> nice. So now we can store errors for things. That's good. Thank you for your assistance. Um, a little plugin issue with uh, bitmap because from buffer is now from file in memory like that if there is a problem with the file, this method will return no. You can find out why using call get last error. I don't know how to actually reference these in a good way. Because I could make this a link to this method, um, which might be what I end up doing. Why have I been calling these methods? I should have called them functions. 
Vidi. If a method. <laughs> um, runs into an. Then. Oh, the, <laughs> the run effect. <laughs> Uh, you're not wrong, although um, I have to deal with um, Kotlin for my day job. So I use methods there as well because it's all object-oriented stuff. <laughs> so it's just OOP effect. I don't even know why we call them methods. It's a bit of a weird term. Hmm, that's something to research at some point. Uh, if a method runs into an error, you can call this to get a brief error message about the cause. This can only Oh, I actually want to do it differently. Um, this returns the last error message reported by a failed uh, plugin API call. Does that read better? Or does that read OK, I suppose? Um, the error message can, uh, made to report the length. The message will never be longer than 496 bytes, including a terminator character. Probably a few more places where I should actually do um, error check, error setting behavior. Like um, if this fails, for example, uh, we might want an error, although I don't know if we actually have access to an error reason for engine read file. So maybe that's something that we need to change. It's like, um, yeah, Dome doesn't actually report why this failed in any meaningful way for the engine. So 
that does pose us a minor problem. Technically, this method also bypasses... Um, well, this method goes through the tar first as well, which might not be desirable. So you might want to write or read directly from the hard disk and not check the egg file if there is one. But that's problematic. I guess the alternative is that we just don't... No, no, we do want to provide that still. So I'm not going to not do it. But it's just how do we keep the error around? Um, I guess this could actually re optionally return an error. That might be the thing to do. Um, yeah, I need to take a real quick break. Um, I'll probably be back five, ten minutes. <sighs> See you in a little bit.
Okay, I am back. Sorry about that small intermission. Um, so, I was trying to figure out how to handle error problem, well, erroring out when we read a file. Because Dome doesn't itself need any of that, but plugins would. And I'm using the same method for both at the moment. So one option would be to have a optional just reason. Well a uh, cha star. Um, which can then be null.
Um, and then we can just return that message internally if we have to. Um, which would mean having to actually get an error from whatever read entire file does. Sorry, I'm having a conversation with my partner <laughs> as well, which is not helpful. Um, I think this is doing raw file system things, so we would get whatever the raw file system messages are, if there's a problem. Well. Although we don't capture this, so we'd have to do it from here as well. It's times like this that I wish that we had um, function overloading. I suppose that the alternative to modifying all the function um, signatures would be to just do the same thing we did with plugins with Dome itself and just have a global error. Um, and just pre uh, allocate a buffer for it and that might be better. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Because I don't, I don't love having to provide error pointers to things. So we could f maybe do a similar thing with last error. But I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't know. There's various things that could have gone wrong here. If one thing, we don't actually check if we can allocate this much memory, so that could have been a problem. What are the question marks for?
<sighs> Fair enough. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. We can probably do the same thing. I think that's fine. Take that back out. Although this one doesn't actually have the engine, so it would just need to be a global. Which is not great. Although I suppose it doesn't really matter that much. In the end. Hmm. So maybe, maybe this one does need it, and um, we'll, we'll we'll try it like that then. Okay. If error. is not equal to null, then there is a, um, what's it called? Um, because it's not Pierre, it's the other one. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, C get file uh, F read error uh, F open error. Oh, it'll be strut error, wouldn't it? Because you get an error number. Is there like a max length? Of course, this itself could fail, and then well, what do you do, right? Okay. Uh, it does actually say it's 124. 0.24 So, um, yeah, we'll just do error, stra error, error no, 0.24 
Is there an, a reset or something for the error number? But it doesn't really matter. So, what counts as a. Okay, so if the F tail is minus one in this case. Uh, I'm just thinking about catching all the potential errors <laughs> that could happen, and then. Which is not hugely interesting, but. Uh, buff size is equal to minus one. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. So I needed to know what FTEL actually did. Um, they haven't touched this code for a very long time, so. It's, um, it's unlikely that any of these would fail, but you never know, right? Something could happen. Look at me, I'm so, so helpful. I told myself where this error would go. Like, I knew I should be doing error checks, but I just didn't. OpenGL. Okay, well, if I... Um... Okay. So, right, yeah. So, I suppose, yeah, so you, you, you'd let someone call it once and then that's it. You can't call it again until, well, the, the, it mutates it, right? So, similar to what they're saying, um, is that you can only really trust it until you call something else, so. I don't think it really matters that much about when you reset it, but... At least at the moment, with the way that our current implementation works. Uh, here, though, we can't do this, right? Because we, um, yeah, we don't want that anymore. Hmm. I think it matters in a stateful system where the state doesn't land in a confusing place. F error. I haven't touched any of these for a while.
Right, so this one's different. We can't um, actually do this one here because F read will do something strange. Because they don't set the error number, so. Okay, so what are you supposed to do if you actually hit an error with this one then? because that's not an interesting thing. Well, maybe maybe you can trust it to still have the error though, so it might be okay because it doesn't set it, so it doesn't matter. So we'll leave that there for now. We do have to clear that error though. Just in case. But. You do that, otherwise... If reason... Then... Oh, I need to do if reason is not equal to null. Copy reason um, I need to know what the read file from tar provides error wise. One, zero, two, four, just in case. 
Uh, we've got stra error for this one. Oh, but where are you meant to get the error number from? Oh, it'll be for these. Yeah, yeah. probably do is actually break here. Oh well, no, what 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 it <sighs> Oh we actually return the error here. Ah that's even better then. So we can do because we we end up using it. Oh, but it's it's weird though because if you um, if you're doing this, you are allowed to fail for the tar file. Like that's allowed because you can pass through to the main system, so that actually doesn't count as a failure. It's only if there's nothing behind it. So we can actually no. Let's get rid of that one. So in which case, yeah, that's fine. We just we just pass it straight through to this thing. Um, we can do it here though. Gotta go fix all the things that broke. to dereference in a bunch of places. Oops.
And then the same thing for engine C. that badly. API io.c. Right, so this one is where it matters because um, we would need to have a buffer for it. It's a bit hacky, but it's fine. Okay, so that seems to have worked. I have no way to test all of that necessarily, but um, well, we do, but because what we would do is go into a plugin. Basically, go IO read file uh, 
there. Ooh. Perfect. Like that. And then... Just our result is equal to this. I think there's actually a length which we can return as null. And then if result is equal to null, then printf is an S. Call get last error. Get the last error, please. CTX like that. And then do nothing else. Uh, yep. Uh, no. File doesn't exist. It's true. So that seems to have run all the way up without issue. I actually want this test bit here just in case. Current handling for IO. Plugin API. <sighs> there we go. That was actually a lot. Uh, docs plugin IO. Oh, we got to do that. All of my tech is failing. There. All of my tech is failing, gradually. Uh, if there is a problem loading the file, this returns no. Thank you. Okay. Um, back to the plugin thing. So we've now done that.
Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, I move that around. Uh, we actually do that now, so I can actually go remove that real quick. I suppose we should actually check if malloc is successful as well. Okay, so yeah, we do get an error number from that. If bitmap is equal to null. Then return null, but also do this stuff. that the str length doesn't actually include the terminator, which is a pretty important character.
Yeah, because then we handle all of that stuff properly, and that's fine. That printf needs to go. This is why I do this, by the way, um, so that I don't just leave random bits of code in for no reason. I just let things simmer in my brain for a bit, step away from it, come back. Um, This file should count as moved, so I don't think I have done anything new to it apart from what's at the bottom here. That's fine. This feels bad, but uh, I think it's okay. It's like, get the error reason, but not because we want the text in there, we want the pointer to the storage location so we can write to the location in there. I think that's okay in the end. Um, I didn't have to do this bit in the end, but it's fine, it might be useful. Yeah, that's fine. This is all the triangle code which I think I've already reviewed, so I don't really have to pay it too much mind, although that's a minor style tweak I need to fix because I'm a pedant. Triangle fill or triangle. Ah, here it is. You are offensive. Ha! It's not actually that bad, it's just what I'd like. <laughs> Uh, that one's fine, that one's fine. Yeah, it was just that one. And then everything else there looks good. Uh, I thought I did these. Did I not do these? Yeah. Right, I moved bits of this stuff around because they weren't necessary anymore. I had to do this hack, which is questionable. I had forgotten to put this in, that was funny. Um, good evening. If, yeah, I, I don't actually know who is watching at any given time, so I, I can just see the viewer number go up and down a little bit. Um, so please say hello if you feel like it. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing code reviews things at the moment. That's fine. That one was fine. I think that we ended up with this all looking okay. Yeah, so I was moving a bunch of these around. I thought it's better if I have all of the plugin API stuff in one place rather than doing it by function, 
Originally, I was going to have like the API for the audio thing goes with the audio stuff. The API for I/O goes with the I/O stuff. I might put this file back. It doesn't need to be where it is anymore. Ah, uh, that's fine. I, I I don't mind being on in the background if you just want to listen to me ramble or whatever. Um, it's uh, yeah. I just um. I don't know if new people are joining the stream. That's my problem. Like, because what I would like to do is say someone comes in, I'd like to greet them, say hello, give them my little spiel about the fact that I'm happy to answer questions. Because um, I'm working on something obscure, but I don't mind talking about it. So, and I can't do that if it's not somebody like if I don't know that somebody new is joining. Because it could be that one of you who just hasn't gone to the background closes the stream, comes back, closes the stream, comes back, and I couldn't tell. And again, I'm looking down here when the camera is here. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, that's true. Um, that is true. I could do that. It's a little annoying. Um, getting that sort of thing to work. Mm, I'll look into it. That's a good idea. I will look into it. I don't know how many people look at the chat bot when they come into a stream, but it's better than nothing. That's true. And then I would be able to see that the bot posted it, so that would tell me that someone came in. So, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that for the next time. Add it to my stream controller application. Fixed a bunch of these things. This is the triangles. These look okay. Oh, I'm forgetting to. I'm just scrolling past things again. Ding, ding. Right, I wanted to move IO back. That's okay. Uh, that was new bits. Wait, what? Oh, did I move all of this into core? I think I did. You might argue that these are core... No, I, that's fine, yeah, they're, they're okay. There's a translation layer. Uh, yep, that's fine, because we just do that bit. Uh, that's the standalone embed. Uh, yep. Right. Yep. It's gross, I don't like it. It's fine. But otherwise, that's basically there. Let me just go move the IO thing back. Um, I move IO.C.IO.C.
I think that's it. Like this, this API for plugins doing graphics things can be extended in the future. This is like the, the absolute bare minimum that I think you would need to do something. You could feasibly implement your own rendering on top. Um, but it was also not difficult to add on extra API calls when the time comes, so. Although, we did want, I think, at least getting rectangles in. So I might put that in and then call it a day. Oh, okay. <sighs> that was a lot. That was a lot. But I think we're nearly there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we said that we wanted to put rectangles in. Because um, you can put points, you can draw lines, and I think rectangles was the last thing that we said. Uh, I could drop into the Discord real quick and have a look. Uh, let me pull it up from my phone. I could also be making it up. Rectangles might not. Oh, you also wanted text. That's true. Text is a can of worms. I knew that when I said it. Um... Right, this was the conversation that actually led to getting triangles into the engine. Okay. I might just hurriedly add on rectangles and then we'll call it a day. Because uh, he do Oh, now there's an interesting problem. So I, I actually made a mistake. Um which was I changed the way that Rect works from how Pico8 does it. And I wish I had renamed it at the same time because now the alternate name doesn't work for what Rect would do. Um, and I don't have a better replacement for it. And I am forever embittened that I can't fix that right now. I guess for consistency, I should match what that is, though. Uh, so this should be height. And this should be width. Um, 
because then it'll work the same way as the Ren API, even though it's not great. These ones should be simple. Uh, it'd be like that and like that. So you actually wouldn't call these x0, you, you just would do that for those ones. And the same would apply here, that height, because I actually, um, yeah, so I didn't think about it too hard at the time, but I do regret it to some degree. It gives me problems every so often that I did things this way. I think that that, that would be something I fix for Dome 2 when I'm allowed to break API calls. API canvas sixty four. Oh, I missed. Wood. Just making errors all over the place. Can do is canvas rect fill ctx 0 0 50 50 don't color uh, ff 0 0 ff Big purple thing. Yes, that's a wreck. Oh, okay. I've forgotten how fun this was. <laughs> Okay. 
so now we just need to document those. That's all I kind of need. And the same thing applies here with the rect fill. Draws a filled rectangle. Rect functions for plugins to use. It's a dangerous thing to do right at the last minute, but. Let's remove that little bit of extra stuff. Um, example, recaster plugin rect. Take that out. Get and examples. Get commit fashion. Cleaning up the example plugin. Tiny bit. Okay, I'll be the last push of the day, I think. Oh, I'm pumped, uh, pooped, basically.
Say it looks pretty good to me. There we go then. There we go. Uh, merging to develop. We'll just let these checks finish and then we'll be good. Make sure we didn't break anything. This is a long stream. It'd be nice if I could get a uh, release candidate done today, but I'm not sure if I've got the brain power to do that. It might be a bit much. Perhaps tomorrow, because I will probably be streaming, but tomorrow as well. I think, it will, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow, I think. gonna wait for this to finish and then we'll be done. Are these sort of maintenance streams interesting? That's, that's kind of the question I have at the moment. Normally I'd be working on something a bit more active, making a game or a more exciting feature, rather than sort of reviewing old code and PRs and things. Is that it? And writing documentation is not something I'd normally do on stream either. Um, but is that something interesting or is it just a nice sort of background noise? I mean, if it is nice background noise, that's okay too. That's what I'd like to know anyway. Um, looks like those all passed. Very good. So, I think, yeah, I think we're done for now. That was, that was a good, busy, long one. Um, yeah. Thank you everybody who came by the stream today and kept me company. I should be streaming tomorrow as well. I'm not sure what time yet, but sometime throughout the day. Um, I'm debating merging this right now or just doing it tomorrow. I'll leave this for tomorrow, do it one last pass off, off stream probably and then merge it. Um, so tomorrow we'll probably be getting the f uh, release build done and then I might be on to doing seven day FPS things. Very exciting. So yeah, thank you everybody who came by. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, afternoon or evening, wherever the hell you are. Good night.